Hey guys, is this new barbecue rub from Grillaholics known as Herbalicious Hen going to stand up to our scrutiny? Well, let's give it a shot. Hey guys, welcome back to Greenhorn Barbecue and Beer. My name is Todd. Sassy is over there. Uh, I think she's spying on me or something. I'm not really sure. But uh, anyway, hey guys, this is a quick Friday night dinner. Guys, we love chicken around here. We especially love chicken thighs. Now, we do them on the Weber. That's probably the best way that I've found, the way I like to cook it, the way Sassy likes to taste it, to do them on the Weber with just the right amount of cherry on a little bit of charcoal, get that temperature right about 250, and to bring it up slowly, maybe crank up the temperature toward the end, get a little crispiness, and man, it is so good that way. Now these don't have skin on them, guys, but one of the little tricks to getting crispy chicken is that you try to dry it out a little bit, guys. Now you don't always have to use a refrigerator. It's handy, but sometimes some folks don't like putting poultry in the refrigerator. I've got a couple solutions for that, and I just, I just can't let uh, Sassy catch me. Babe, are you ready to cook the chicken? What the heck is going on? Sounds like my blow dryer. What in the heck? So it looks like that fridge idea isn't a bad one after all, guys. So, uh, hey, let's go ahead and get started and season these up. Here we go. We've got some uh, fairly dry uh, chicken thighs. Again, these are uh, boneless and skinless. Um, um, I'm going to leave a link down in the description. And you guys can get 20% off this stuff if you use my discount code GREENHORN when you check out. Again, I'm going to leave a link. You guys go check it out. I'm going to be shooting for a 250 degree temperature and by putting cold meat on that grill it's going to give more time for that smoke to penetrate. In this case the smoke that I'm getting mostly from charcoal and some help from the cherry chunks. Now those cherry chunks are really going to contribute to that mahogany color that I'm going for on chicken. It's a beautiful wood to use on poultry. I highly recommend it. Let's get started. Alright guys to clean those dingy grill grates guys that you got on your Weber and other grills I really recommend super clean get yourself some of the original or this great aerosol it's just like oven cleaner but better guys because it's made for the outdoors guys I really recommend it. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description be sure to go get you some All right guys, I got that smoke rolling right about 275. I'm really trying to tune it down to about, oh, about 250. That's really what I'm going for. I don't want to cook too fast, but not too slow either, guys. So I'm going to be going for an internal temperature right about 165, guys. I'm going to be using my Thermo Pro TP19. I'm going to leave the link down in the description if you uh, want to go get one. You can always check our Amazon store for all the latest and cool barbecue and outdoor cooking gadgets. So I'll leave a link for that too. So um, guys, we're going to pause right now to announce the winner of this week's Wingnut Wednesday giveaway. All right, guys, here we go to select this week's Wingnut Wednesday. We're going to go grab the video URL for last Wingnut Wednesday episode. We're going to roll on over to the YouTube random comment picker. It's a pretty cool site, guys. We're going to go in. We're going to copy paste the link. We're going to adjust the settings and we're going to have the picker fetch all the comments and then we're going to jumble them up and pick a winner so 
David Prescott, you have won this week's Wingnut Wednesday. You're going to get a $25 gift certificate for the meat stick, guys. Go check it out. Great products. Links are down below. I'll give you an email if you contact me and must have a U.S. mailing address. Congratulations. 162. All right. I think these are going to be done really quick here, guys. Let's check out the bottom. Nice and even. All right, guys. What do you think of that color? What do you think of that color? Leave me a comment down below what you think of that color from this cherry. And uh, what do you think of this texture from the Grilloholics? What do you think? Yeah, I'm going to give it about five minutes and uh, take it on side. guys this looks herbaceous oops well that's the name of the rub so I really like the texture guys it, it almost resembles you know deep fried or chicken or whatever like that but you know we, we know it's not it's got that mahogany color that is the result of all that cherry that I put in there guys I brought it up to just shy of 165 um, and, and I know it's done guys it just looks so good um, I, we like a little bit of white rice and broccoli on the side, lightly buttered, of course. So we're going to dig in. I'm going to take a chunk out of uh, right here. All right. Look at that. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Guys, mmm. That smoke's in there. Get a little bit of that rice that I love so much. Mmm. Oh, man. This is good, guys. Chicken thighs is where it's at. It's got the right amount of fat, it's dark meat, it's juicy, it's tender, and with the right kind of cooker, like Weber, with the right kind of wood, like cherry, and the right kind of seasoning, like this Herbalicious Hen by Grillaholics. I'll leave a link in the description, 20% off. Use discount code GREENHORN, or just follow my link. We'll take care of you. Mmm, yeah, it's so good, guys. Hey, it's Friday night. It's time to ravage this chicken here. I think Sassy's hungry. She's working late. And thanks again for watching. We'll see you later.